Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have another little flip through for you. And it is only a little one, but it's kept me busy all month. <laughs> <coughs> and it's just been one of those projects where it's stop and start, stop and start, stop and start. Find resources, build more pages, run out of resources, start again. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But... <coughs> The theme this month has been mushrooms. I received my parcel from Witchcraft You Do and in it was a mushroom package. And I've absolutely loved, loved using it. I've made so many little things with it. And this is the, the culmination along with those things in the package and from other magazines and even a paper bag that I purchased some mushrooms in. I put that into here as well. I had some lovely graphics and a little bit of text and you know it was really quite nice but we'll go through this now and show you this is my cover page and that is the back page and I've left that completely clear I like the, the clean look of that one this one is pretty busy um, this one is actually a sew-on applique that I've used glue to adhere to, to the page I didn't want to sew it on I just got lazy and apart from which I'd already done the introductory page. Welcome to Shroom Cottage. Beautiful butterflies, a couple of mushrooms, and I would like to introduce you to Miss Eliza Shroom. Now she is our hostess with the mostess. Now let me just turn this around. The original doll maker for Miss Eliza, and I've called her that, um, is Anouk Pantovola. Pantovola? I'm sorry if I'm, I'm pronouncing that incorrect, but she comes from Daphne's Diary. And I was introduced to that when my sister-in-law was here. Fell in love with it. So I've used a few graphics from that magazine as well as the other ones from Which Craft Do You Do? So let's go through now. I used the tag from Which Craft. A little tag goes in there, you can write on the back of that, or I can later on. Another little tag with writing space on the back. I didn't alter this at all, all I did was put some extra ink around the edge, so that is as it came in the little bag. I've got a mushroom here for creamy mushroom soup. I haven't made this one yet, but I'm really looking forward to doing that when I can get some cheap mushrooms. This was also from the package I received, and it has no alterations on it, just the the extra ink. I've put a couple of pages in here that can be written on for extra recipes or whatever. So that one sits in there. It's a tight, snug fit. I might have to trim that little paper down. I think I won't bother with that now. These I've made up myself. This one came from my little bag. This is one of my little creations. And this one came out of the bag. I've used calendar paper, a little flower, and some flower fairies. And you'll see these little creatures pop up every now and then through the book. This is not fabric lace, it is paper lace. And for that I used this particular punch, and who is it by? Oh, it's a tonic punch. Very, very easy to use, really, really lovely. And it punches out the whole piece of lace like that. And I've just used some of the little flower that came out of the punch to add extra decoration. This was a beautiful piece of ephemera, um, what do you call them, clusters. And I've just written in there... Money isn't like mushrooms in a forest. It doesn't just pop up on its own, you know. And Huru, Haruki Murakami said that. Hmm. But I loved it. It's got a little mushroom on the front. And this is another one from the, the bag. And I've got another piece of paper in here for extra writing. I've got little sayings all the way through. And to find those, I typed into Google mushroom sayings and I came up with a whole stack of them so that's where I've got my little sayings from I haven't been you know super clever and made them all up I've copied them now this is a super busy page but I love I love that 
from the magazine and I didn't want to lose too much of it. So I made these rather different type of mushrooms. The paper was originally just white with the black squares and I put some white dots on the squares and coloured them red and yada yada, off we go. So a couple of little pieces of washi tape, the paper lace again. Now this came out of a magazine and I thought that was so clever. What the lady has done is done cross stitch onto a dictionary page and then, and it just happened to be a mushroom. Good timing, hey? Now, one pot chicken and mushroom pasta. Yum. I've tried something similar to that. There's another recipe further on that I have actually tried and it is delicious. Two more little pieces of uh, vintage paper in there from an old accounting book or little ledger book. The tag was empty so I used the stamp that I found in my stash and paper piece different colours onto the brown ones. Now where's Where's one I can show you what I've done? Okay, what I did, I'll just get rid of those. I don't need all of them. I stamped out the brown, and then I stamped out the colours, cut around the colour, and stuck it on top of the the brown. So you can see what I've done. I've paper pieced. Very simple, very easy, very nice. These are minte mushrooms. I had a couple of those left over from the, the page that I was using. Now, if you use your imagination, you could almost pretend this is the cottage. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Where did that froggy come from? Maybe he was hiding in there. Turned the page and he jumped into my throat. This was another beautiful little cluster that came out of my, my package. Beautiful. I had made a stack of these. So I thought, right, we're going to build a field of mushrooms with some little flowers in them. And they're all ready to collect. So if you want mushrooms, there's the harvest spot. Now, these gorgeous creations are handmade from recycled fabric, hand-stitched. All the embroidery is done by the person who did it. And his name is Finch. I got him out of Daphne's diary, and it was, it was the mushrooms that drew me, of course, because I was at st this stage struggling for ephemera to put in here. And I thought, I don't want to overload it with my mushrooms and, you know, other mushrooms. I wanted something different. And these were just so different. They're beautiful. But even the moth, he's hand-stitched all of this embroidery on vintage and recycled fabric. It's absolutely stunning. He just doesn't do mushrooms and moths. He does other things as well, like great big honeybees and um, little rabbits. He's got he's got everything. He's just so clever. There's another recipe. Mushroom and garlic spaghetti. I did this one. Oh my gosh, it is to die for. It is absolutely beautiful. The only thing is it uses a lot of garlic, like six cloves, and I felt like I was reeking of garlic, but um, I haven't been able to sense it on my breath, and so far so good. This was purely out of the little kit I purchased, not the kit, the little bag I purchased, with some paper lace on the bottom. These two pages I have just left blank in case I find another couple of mushroom recipes that I really like and I'm going to try them and then I'll write them into here or stick them into here. I decided this little mushroom needed to come up here with a wee forest around it. And my last two pages, there's the note paper there that I've just stamped on and they fit in there quite nicely and they're there for recipes or whatever that comes little mushrooms and a butterfly now this is from the paper bag and it turned out really really well the two larger pieces were joined together and they made a banner across the bottom of the bag it said mushroom bag but I've just put another S on there for mushrooms it gave you a little story about the mushrooms how you could cook them and whatever and I like this one in particular because it wasn't specifically designed to do for, with any particular mushroom. Now's the time to enjoy cooking on the barbecue in the great outdoors. Experience the great taste sensation of quick, easy to prepare mushrooms. And it just gives you three types of mushrooms. You've got button, cup and flat mushrooms. So that is my little mushroom journal. Thank you so very, very much for 
watching, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to tell me what you think of this little journal, please let me know in the comments section. Until next time, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do next, I'm thinking very much of copying a lady called Kay, who is doing a Daphne's Diary glue book. I'm thinking very much of taking that on board because I like the look of what she was doing. But I haven't yet created a book ready to use and I don't really want to go out and buy one so I've got to get myself together and make something that I can use fairly quickly. So make it fairly quickly so I can use it, that's the way I should have said. So thank you again and I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye bye for now folks. Take care.